If you thought the RX 9070 XT was just a slightly better version of RX 9070, it's time to think again. We tested both cards in 3 resolutions 1080p, 1440p and 4K across 16 modern games. And on top of that, we run 5 AAA titles with ray tracing fully enabled in all 3 resolutions as well. Forget synthetic benchmarks and marketing slides, these are real-world results from real GPUs showing you FPS, power draw, cost per frame and efficiency per watt. In this video, you, you will learn 3 things. How much extra FPS do you actually get with XT card? When is the base RX 970 the better deal? And third, and does ray tracing really make a difference in performance? If you're buying a new GPU or just curious what AMD is bringing to the table in this segment, stick around, it's going to be very good. Before we dive into Pentras, let's quickly compare the specs of these two GPUs. Both cards are part of AMD's latest RDNA 4 generation. They each come with 16GB of GDDR6 memory and 256-bit memory bus, so the memory bandwidth is identical to both cards. But that's where the similarities end. The RX 9070 XT features 64 compute units and 4960 stream processors. RX 9070 without XT has 56 compute units and 3584 stream CPUs. The XT version also runs at higher clock speeds and that means higher power draw. It goes up to 304 watts while the RX 9070 without XT draws around 220 watts. In short, the XT is faster but it also demands more power and better cooling. To ensure a fake comparison between these two GPUs, we use the same test system across all benchmarks. At the heart of the rig is the Ryzen 7 800X 3D, one of the fastest gaming CPUs out there, perfect for GPU testing. The motherboard is the ROG Gen X 670E, it's compact but it has everything we need. Excellent VRM, rock solid stability and full overclocking support. For memory, we are running 64GB of DDR5 at 6000MHz. Two kits in dual channel tuned and ready to avoid any bottlenecks. Our SSD is VD Black SN850X with 2TB of capacity. We have used this model for a while now, it's fast, reliable and handles pressure like a champ. Powering it all is the FSP Hydro TI Pro 1000W PSU Titanium certified meaning top tier efficiency and near silent operation. The entire system is housed in high T Y60 case, cooled by an AKVB Nucleus 240 liquid cooler. In short, temps are under control and performance is full unleashed. This is the ideal test bench to show what these two GPUs can really do. When we look at overall performance at 4K resolution, the difference is clear. RX 9070XT delivers around 10% more FPS on average compared to the RX 9070XT without XT, but the extra power comes at a cost, both in dollars and in watts. RX 9070XT draws an average of 315 watts, while the regular RX 9070 pulls to 37 watts, meaning the XT card uses 33% more power. And now, when it comes to efficiency, RX 9070 consumes just 2.77 watts per frame, while XT goes up to 3.32. That makes the RX 9070 about 20% more efficient per watt in 4K gaming. So, yeah, XT gives you more performance, but the RX 9070 wins when it comes to efficiency and lower power consumption. If you want the full breakdown with side by side comparison across 16 games in 4K, check out the full video on our channel. And if you want to calculate which GPU gives you more for your money, use our GPU calculator, just enter the model, choose the model and enter the price and you will get the cost per frame instantly. At 1440p gaming, the difference between these two GPUs is still noticeable, but slightly smaller than in 4K. RX 9070 XT delivers just 7% more FPS on average compared to the standard RX 9070 GPU. However, it still draws more power, 313 watts versus 236 watts on the RX 9070. That means the XT consumes 32.6% more energy at this resolution. Looking at efficiency per frame, the RX 9070 uses only 3.85 watts per render frame, while the XT pulls 
4.66 watts per frame. So in simple terms, the RX 970 is about 21% more efficient per frame in 1440p gaming. Sure, the XT is still faster, but when it comes to performance to power ratio, the RX 970 is the real champ. And of course, if you want to see the full breakdown across 16 games at 1440p, the complete video is already live on our channel. And of course, do not forget, if you want to calculate which GPU gives you the best bang for your buck, use our GPU calculator, just enter your model and price, and you will get your answer instantly. At Full HD resolution, the difference between these two cards are even smaller, but they're still there. RX 9070 XT averages around 5% more FPS than the RX 9070 without XT, but the real question here is, is that the extra performance worth the extra power? Power Joke shows a clear split. XT card uses 282 watts, while the RX 9070 draws just 222 watts. That's massive 27% increase in energy for only 5% gain in frame rate. When you look at the efficiency per frame, the XT consumes 1.40 watts per frame, while the RX 9070 is much more efficient at just 1.16. So, RX 9070 ends up being about 21% more efficient in full HD gaming. In short, if you're gaming at 1080p and want the best performance per watt, the RX 9070 is a smarter pick here. For all the individual game benchmarks and exact numbers, you can watch the full 1080p test with all 16 games on native tests on our channel. And of course, to find out which card gives you more for your money, we have GPU calculator. Ray tracing is the ultimate stress test, and that's why we run both the RX 9070 XT and RX 9070 through 5 AAA games across all three resolution 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. On average, the XT delivers around 10% higher performance in ray traced scenarios. But what does that look like in practice? In the most demanding games like Cyberpunk and Wukong Black Meat, the gap stretched to 13 to 14%, while in more, let's say, optimized titles like Hogwarts Legacy and Dragon Age Railguard, the difference narrows down to around 4 to 9%. But that performance bump across with the power cost. RX 9070 XT pulls 330 watts on average, while the base RX 9070 stays at much lower 236 watts. That's a difference of 94 watts, or roughly 40% more power draw from the XT card. Now, let's talk about the features. The RX 9070 uses only 3.85 per frame, while the XT consumes 4.66 watts per frame. That makes RX 9070 around 21% more efficient per rendered frame when ray tracing is turned on. Bottom line, yeah, XT is faster, but the RX 9070 is friendlier to your build. If you want to see exact frame rates, game by game comparisons, and resolution based charts, check out our full ray tracing performance breakdown video on the channel. At the end of the day, both GPUs RX 9070 XT and RX 9070 without XT deliver excellent performance. But when we zoom out and look at the big picture, the difference becomes clear. XT is on average 5 to 10% faster, depending on resolution and game scenarios. The performance comes from more compute units and higher clock speeds, interestingly. That's also the exact same difference in MSRP, around 10%, but the XT also consumes up to 27% more power, which means it's less energy efficient. And if you're focused on how many frames you get per watt or how many you get per dollar, RX 9070 is here the smarter pick. Now, let's talk about bigger picture. These two GPUs forced Nvidia to cut prices, especially for RTX 5070 and 5070 Ti models, but there's still a gap in availability. In many regions, AMD cards are still priced higher than MSRP, while Nvidia models are closer to MSRP, thanks to earlier release and lower demand. On the software side, FSR 4 is major leap forward here. We are no longer talking about software-only upscaling and ray tracing. It's now hardware accelerated right on the GPU. More and more games are adopting FSR 4 and it's only a matter of time before ray tracing becomes a default settings at developing. That's why it's great to see AMD finally in the game and pushing forward both ray tracing and AI-based upscaling. Because 
Of that shift, previous gen cards are starting to lose their value unless you find them at super low price, but honestly, in their price class and tech tier, these two cards represent real progress. If you want to know which one gives you the most for your money, as I said, check our GPU calculator, just type in the model and price and get a precise readout on frames per your currency. If you found this video helpful, hit like, subscribe and drop your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you soon with more tests and deep dives. See you.